Read the text below and answer the questions 1 through 4. Sophia recycles. Sophia was helping her dad. She put old cans and bottles in a box. Dad put the box outside. A green truck picked up the cans and bottles. The truck took everything to the recycling center. Question number 1. What did Sophia and her dad collect for the recycling center? So it is given in the paragraph that they collected old cans and bottles. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 2. What happened after Sophia's dad took the box outside? Option A is Sophia put old cans and bottles in a box. B is a green truck picked up the cans and bottles. C is people used the pieces to make a new thing. Option D is Sophia put old toys in a box. So it was mentioned in the paragraph, a green truck picked up the cans and bottles. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 3. What happens to the bottles and cans before a person can make new things out of them? Option A is they are buried in the ground. Option B is they are broken down in the pieces. C is they are put in piles. And option D is they are reused. Recycling companies, whenever they have to recycle something, they have to reshape it. So before reshaping, they break down the things into pieces and then make new shapes out of it. So we can reuse the new objects. So option B is the correct option here. They are broken down into the pieces. Question number 4. What is the big lesson in Sophia Recycles? Option A is recycling trucks are green. It's not a lesson, it's just an information which we already know. Option B is trash hurts the earth. We also know that really trash hurts the earth. Option C is when we recycle, there is less trash left on earth. And option D is trash should be wasted. So if we talk about a lesson which we can learn from the given paragraph, it is that we, uh, when we recycle, there is less trash left on the earth. So we should recycle and reuse the new objects. Question number 5. Why are fire engines painted bright red and yellow? Option A is so they look good. Option B is so they stand out and can be seen easily. Option C is so they look smart. And last option is so they look clean. So whenever the fire is broken at some place, uh, it destroys everything so quickly. So that's why the fire engines are colored in bright colors. So everybody can see them and uh, they easily reach at the destination uh, without getting stuck in the tree, into the traffic. So option B is the correct option here. So they stand out and can be seen easy. Question number six, why are flowers so bright and colorful? Option A is so they look nice. Option B is so we will pick them. C is, so they will attract lots of bees and butterflies. The last option is, so they warn off bees and butterflies. So here, option C is the correct option here. So they will attract lots of bees and butterflies. So they could collect the nectar from the flowers. Question number 7. If you put a hot brick in a bucket of cold water and leave it for a while, what would happen? Option A is the brick would get warmer and the water would get colder. Option B is the brick would get cooler and water would get warmer. C is the brick would get as cold as the water had been. D is the water would get as hot as the brick had been. So here we know that heat is transferred from a hot object towards the cooler object. So if we will keep a hot brick in cold water, the heat will transfer from the brick towards the colder water. So in that way, that hot brick will get cooler and the cold water will start becoming warmer. So option B is the correct option here. The brick would get cooler and the water would get warmer. Question number 8. What causes day and night? Option A is the sun moves around the earth. It doesn't happen. Option B is the moon comes out causing night. C is the earth orbits the sun. Earth orbits the sun which causes years. Option D is the earth rotates on its axis. So when earth rotates on its axis, that causes day and night. So option D is the correct option here.
Question number nine. Lucy asked, "What is the biggest tomato I can grow?" She had one tomato plant. She looked after it really well. It had twelve tomatoes on it. They all ripened and went red. How did she find out which was the biggest tomato? Option A is Lucy ate the tomatoes. Option B is Lucy looked at the tomatoes. C is Lucy weighed the tomatoes, and option D is Lucy used a magnifying glass. So. To check the weight of the tomatoes, she will use a weighing machine instead of looking at the tomatoes or eating them. Here, she is, option C is the correct option. Lucy weighed the tomatoes to see that which one is the biggest one. Question number ten: Which of these is a tool used to make measurements? So, inches tape is used to measure the length of the things. Weighing machines are used to measure the weight of the things. So option A is clock, option B is pencil, option C is telephone, and option D is cell phone. So option A is the correct option here because we use clocks to measure the time. Pencil is used to write something. Telephone and cell phones are used to make calls. So option A is the correct option here. We use clocks to see the time or measure the times. Question number eleven: Harry wants to install smoke detectors in his home office. Which of the following locations in the house need not have a smoke detector installed? Option A is bedroom. Option B is bathroom. Option C is conference room, and option D is server room. So here, if we look at all types of room, we don't need a detector in bathroom. Question number twelve: Two cups of water were placed into each of the open containers. Predict what the water levels will be tomorrow. Option A is the same amount of water will be left in both. Option B is there will be more water left in container B than in A. Option C is there will be more water in container A than in B. So option D is they will both still have two cups of water. So two cups of water are uh, placed in. Um, Container A and in container B, the so water will evaporate on the next day. So water will evaporate from the container A faster than the container B because container A has more surface area. It is wider than the container B, so it has more space for water to evaporate as compared to container B. So after one day, container A will have less water. Water. And container B will have more water. So option B is the correct option here. There will be more water left in container B than in container A. Question number thirteen. It is very difficult to change the shape of the steel. The blacksmith has to heat the steel so it is red hot, and then hit it with a hammer. This is because steel is dash material. Option A is weak. It means it can break easily. Option B is hard, like a material which cannot be crushed or cut easily. Option C is soft. A soft material is uh, quite flexible, or we can make scratches on it easily. And option D is a bendy material which is foldable. So steel is not weak, soft, or bendy. It is a hard material. That's that's why we use this material to make. The cooking pots, utensils like spoons, forks, and uh, bumper of the cars, etc. Question number fourteen. Refer to the given picture. What time of the day does it show? So, uh, the directions are given here. We know that sun rises from the east and makes the shadows of the objects on the opposite side. So, if sun rises from the east. It will make the shadow on the west side. This is morning actually. So option B is the correct option here. Question number fifteen. This is an elephant mother with her calf. What will the calf grow as she gets older? Option A is tusks. Tusks are these long white teeth. Option B is trunk. Trunk is the long nose. C is ears. And option D is flat feet. We can see. A baby has trunk, ears, and flat feet already. But when that calf will grow up, it will grow the tusks. 
तो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 इन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटीज द बोन्स एंड मसल्स आर बीइंग यूज्ड द लीस्ट लीस्ट मींस मिनिमम ऑप्शन ए इज वॉकिंग ऑप्शन बी इज टेकिंग अ बाथ ऑप्शन सी इज सिटिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी इज राइडिंग अ बाइसिकल तो इन ऑप्शन सी व्हेन वी आर सिटिंग डाउन ऑन अ बेंच we are using our bones and muscles least so that is the correct option here in rest of the three activities we have to move our legs or hands or body so bones and muscles are used more as compared to option c question number 17 which of the following objects can be used to show that air moves things so we cannot move stone by air but option b and c leaves and balloons as they are light weighted so air can move them from one place to another so option d is the correct option here question number again which property do these four uh, objects have in common ceramic mug diamond glass bowl or car bumper option a is hard hard is a material which cannot be crushed cut or distorted easily option b is rough a material which has bumps on it which is not smooth to touch option c is yellow and option d is bendable a material that can be folded easily so here if we look at all these four objects they are hard materials so option a is the correct option here question number 19 which of the following weather symbols are sunny and rainy there if we look at our option a it has a sun and rainy clouds so that is our correct option in option b we can see a sun and a cloud not a rainy cloud so that is not the correct one in option c we can see a rainy cloud and in option d we can see a sun only so here option a is the correct one which has both sun and rain Question number twenty. Guess the shadow. So here we can see these two fingers are representing the ears of the rabbit. Then these two fingers are showing the arms, and this thumb at the end is showing the leg. Option C is the correct representation.